Hello everybody, my name is Paul Thompson from the Trachtenberg System.org and today I'm going to show you how to multiply any number by 11 using the Trachtenberg speed system of basic mathematics. Now this is part one of a nine part series where I'm going to explain to you how to use the Trachtenberg system in full and I would recommend going through each video tutorial that I do for you in order because we're going to be covering a lot of tips and techniques that we're going to cover early on that we're going to be needing to use later on in the system. So we're going to start off with multiplying uh, by 11 because 11 has got probably the easiest rule to remember and that is to add the right hand neighbor to the number. So we'll start off with an easy example which is 11 times 633 and using our rule we've got to remember add the right hand neighbor to the number. Now the first thing that we have to do is to add a zero to the beginning of our multiplicand and the multiplicand is the number on the right hand side which we're going to be multiplying by 11. Now we add a zero to the beginning of it and then we underline it and then we move on. Now we always work from the right hand side to the left. In this case, well, our starting number would be three. And when we have to deal with neighbors, uh, as outlined in the rule, add the right hand neighbor to the number. Three doesn't have a neighbor number, so we just assume that it's zero. And to make it easier for you guys, I've decided to color code the working numbers in the multiplicand so that you know which numbers we're talking about and the resultant red answers are going to be shown uh, directly beneath in red as shown here so if we start uh, with our first digit which is three and it doesn't have a neighbor so we can just assume that it's zero so we do three plus zero equals three and then we record the three um, at the bottom shown in red now I've actually included calculations which you can see on the right hand side. Um, maybe not so useful for multiplying by 11, but when we get on to the rules for slightly harder numbers, um, then this will definitely come in, come in useful. Um, so we move on to the next number, which is another three. And its neighbor is uh, the three that we start with. So three plus three equals six. So we simply record the six below, shown in red. And then we move on uh, to our next digit, which is six. And we do six plus its neighbor three equals nine. And then we record the nine below. And then we do zero plus six equals six. And then we record the six, which is shown in red. And there's our answer, 6,963. Now we can do a couple of checks to make sure that we carried out the first and last uh, calculations correctly. And that is for number 11 and number 11 only is to make sure that those digits uh, are the same. Uh, in which case, six and six are the same, and three and three are the same. And there's our answer, 6,963. Now we can try some harder numbers. And what I mean by harder numbers is that we're gonna have to start carrying uh, the 10. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So 11 times 1,754. Uh, starting off, we add the zero to the beginning of our multiplicand and underline it. And then we do our calculation. So the first digit that we use is four. It doesn't have a neighbor. So we just add four plus zero. And we get the answer four. So we record the four shown in red. And then we move along to our next number, which is five. And we do five plus four, and that gives us our answer nine. Now here, we have to do seven plus five, which gives our answer 12. So instead of writing down 12, we put a dot above the two um, so we effectively we record the last digit in our double digit answer which is two and we add a dot above it to represent the carry 10 so that dot just represents uh, one ten and we have to make sure to add this dot onto our next answer onto our next result so then we move across to our next digit and we have one so we go one plus seven equals eight plus the dot from the two the carry 10 uh, equals nine. So then we record the nine and we move on to the last digit, which is zero, which we added. And we do zero plus one equals one. And there's our answer. One, 11 times 1,754 is 19,294. And we can do some basic checks again and make sure that the last digits are the same and the first digits are the same, shown in green and purple. And there's our answer. Uh, there's our final answer. Um, now, I've added this slide in because uh, somebody asked me about this uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it's what do you do if you have a carried uh, 
10 and you already have a cumulative result of 9 and that is simply to record the final answer which would either be 10 or 11 and you just record that and that's your final answer. So I'm going to pause the video in a moment and you can see if you can solve the following sums I've done or alternatively you can write down a few yourself and uh, I hope you get them right. Um, Okay guys, so here are the answers. Um, I hope, hope you got them right. Um, they follow on the, exactly the same rules as what we did, uh, what we just covered. Um, and that's it really. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and you can see how to calculate uh, all the other numbers. Uh, full instructions can be found on our website, trachtenbergsystem.org. Uh, it's free, you don't need to sign up. Uh, you just go on there and learn. Uh, we've got uh, pictures and videos and written instructions and loads of examples. Um, and if you want to download your free PDF copy of the Complete Directing Book System, that's a PDF scan copy of the actual book, um, you can visit our website, trackingbooksystem.org. Again, it's free to download. You don't have to buy anything. Um, you can save yourself $20, $25 or however much it costs on Amazon. Um, and that's it already. So uh, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, which I'll be doing in the next couple of hours. And that's how to multiply any number by 12. Uh, if you've got any problems, questions or comments, then please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, guys, and speak to you soon.